Canning is not just a way to preserve food, it's also a way of life. Whether you have two kids, or seven kids, or no kids at all. So today we're going to teach you how to make strawberry preserves. One of the reasons why we like canning strawberries so much is that our children love it. Oh, but yeah. not just that, did you know strawberries are the number one fruit according to the top10s.com in the United States? Well, that makes sense to me. They're yeah. top in my house. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Same at mine as well. We're going to begin with two pounds of strawberries and we need to just cut off the tops of them. strawberries we need to grab our pan with strawberry preserves we want to keep the strawberries whole so we're just going to put the whole berries into the pan so pretty much the definition of a preserve is whole fruit in syrup exactly how can you go wrong with that really I know <laughs> delicious in sugar delicious <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And, I mean, how easy. You don't have to cut it all up into tiny pieces, no mushing, nothing. Yeah. So we need our three pounds of fruit and five cups of sugar. So I really like doing the preserves. My, my daughter loves the blackberry one quite a mm -hmm. bit. She'll actually, she'll dip cheese sticks in it. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. We have a sticky board here, so I want to get it kind of out of the way. So we'll just slide it forward because we don't want it on the bottom of the pan. So now that we have all the sugar on here, we're just going to mix it until it's coated. And I try not to do it too hard because I don't want to break up the fruit. make sure it has a liberal coating. Perfect. These are going to rest for a few hours and then what's going to happen is the sugar is going to kind of extract the juices out of the strawberries and it's going to start that syrup for us. Yep, so we're going to put a lid on it, set it on the counter in a cool place for three to four hours. Our strawberries are all done resting. And you can see that they've already started to kind of sweat out the juices and yeah. it's it's really making it so that the the sugar has melted down quite a bit exactly our first step is to place this onto the stove and bring it up to a boil we're going to add just about half a teaspoon of butter so that we can reduce the foam You really want to watch it in the beginning while the sugar is still crystallized because you don't want it to burn on the bottom. Exactly. We're going to get a zoom in here and show you what this looks like here in the beginning. I see down in there the mm -hmm. crystals. Yeah. And you just want to make sure that you get that sugar dissolving before it sticks onto the bottom of your pan so that it doesn't scorch and burn your pan. And you still want to be kind of gentle of your berries because you want them to be whole. Exactly. That's what a preserve is. All right. These strawberry preserves are on the stove here and they're starting to come to a boil. So we just want to show you what this looks like. Ah, wow, now they're actually doing a rolling boil really nicely. See that? And you can see that there's some foam there, but that butter keeps it from getting to be too much. Right, once we take it off of the boil, that will reduce quite a bit. Okay, go ahead. We just need to add the 1 a cup of lemon juice, and then we'll continue to stir it until we get to the gelling point, which is 220 degrees, minus two degrees for every thousand feet above sea level. So for us, 
that's going to be 218 degrees. And because we are already boiling, it is rising fast. Oh, it's rising really fast. We're over 210 already. Ooh. Okay. We are at two, I think it's 220. We're at 218 right there. Oh, that was fast. Perfect. Wow. We were pretty much already there. So now we just need to pull this up. Now that we've gotten to the gelling point, what we need to do is begin to fill up our jars. We do do it a little bit different when we do the preserves, just because you have those large chunks there. We do those first in the bottom of each of the jars because we don't want to end up having all syrup in this one, all berries in another. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So it just keeps it a little more evenly dispersed. We're just trying to grab a few berries for each one. Mm -hmm. And these jars have been in the oven at 250 degrees. So they're nice and hot and we're working with extremely hot fruit and syrup here. So just be careful not to burn yourself. I think we might actually need another couple of jars. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got some, I'm going to add a couple berries to some of these others that I wasn't sure how far they'd go originally over here. Yeah, I think we could probably get eight out of this recipe here. I'm going to let that one dump in there. Let's see, let's make sure we split up this one really big strawberry there. See how we've just Super kind of pretty. dispersed our fruit out? Got just a few more here, and then we'll put some more in that one. Now, if you get any of the syrup or the berries on the edge of the, of the rim of your jar, all you have to do is use a clean cloth to wipe it off so that it doesn't interfere with the seal. Okay, let's get these last two in what? This one or this one, you think? Oh, well, let's go with that. This one? Okay, now we just need to top everything off with the syrup. And this, you're gonna wanna leave anywhere from a fourth to a half an inch of headspace. Remember that the berries float, so they're, when they get um, pushed down a little bit, they're gonna make that syrup go up. Exactly. Just a little bit more in this one. We might need a towel. I might have just spilled on the edge of that one. That's okay. Let's do a little bit more in this one. Sorry. Sure. At our angle, it's kind of hard to see how full we're filling everything until we move the funnel. So just be aware of that when you're filling your jars. You might need to move and jiggle your funnel around and see how, how they all fit. We're gonna have plenty of the little syrup here. You might be I eating crepes so. tonight. Sounds like a plan to me. Whenever we're uh, canning the preserves, the family always knows they're getting crepes or German pancakes or pancakes <laughs> or waffles <laughs> or something for dinner that night or the next so that we can use up the leftovers. Yeah, they don't mind at all. And since that's a, some of their favorite foods, they love it. Do we mm -hmm. need a little more in one of them? Oh, maybe a little bit more in these two. Okay. It's hard to say because the strawberries and are floating. You can tell that right there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because they when yeah, we first put funny. it in, they were. And that's part down. of the thing when you're when you put that in, it kind of pushes those strawberries down. Exactly. So. Okay. I'll grab the rings over here. Rings. So eight of them. So we've got six here, seven, eight. Perfect. And they're so pretty. Look at it. Having the light coming through. I don't know if you guys can see it from that side, but it's so pretty. We'll show you after they come out of the canner. Yeah. Ooh, they're hot. They are. Okay. Let's see what we can get over there. They 
it might be too hot to manhandle. <laughs> I think so today. Sometimes we can do it if we go quick. Uh-huh. But well, today, like I reached in that water and it was yeah, awfully warm. <laughs> today, with the strawberries sitting there and continually spreading out the syrup, it was just able to keep that jar so much hotter and even clear up to the rim in the, the rings that we can't grab it. It's never a bad idea to use the jar lifter. Just assures that you won't be burned. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it does. You can never assure of anything like that, but it sure <laughs> lessens the chances of you coming away with a big nasty burn. Right. So now we're going to process those in the boiling water bath for 15 minutes. If you're at sea level, we're at 1,200 feet, so we're going to do ours for 20. If you're unsure how altitude affects the processing time for your boiling water bath canner, check out our Canning Basics video. We also have a Canning Basics video on how to use a water bath in case you need a refresher or a tutorial on how to use it. Our strawberry preserves are done processing in our boiling water bath canner and it is time to pull them out. Now these have been processing for 25 minutes here at our level, 20 minutes at sea level. Oh yeah, so pretty. quite pretty there. Okay. I love how pink and... So you'll notice that sometimes the juice comes out. A lot of that is just because the fruit floats. So yeah. it makes it come up towards the it surface It puts more. a little bit of pressure against that lid. Mm -hmm. The seal. They should still seal just fine. They really are beautiful though, aren't they? They really are. And if you end up getting your towel all red with juices and you think <laughs> you just ruined or stained your towel, go ahead and check out our Whiter Whites video that I have. We, we stain these towels every time we can. All the time. Yeah. And if you notice, they're always white when I put them out. That's because we have a great solution for cleaning. Okay. I think all right. that's all of them. I think so. Oh, and let's just look how beautiful that syrup is, guys. The beautiful syrup with the berries in there. Mm -hmm. Fantastic to have in your pantry. If you're enjoying these canning videos, make sure that you click the subscribe button.